I've been receiving so many comments asking me about daily bias. In today's video, I'm gonna simplify this whole concept of daily bias. Even my 82 year old grandma will understand by watching this entire video. So let's go. What is daily bias? What exactly are you looking for? It is the direction of the market, bullish or bearish. Your main objective is to determine the likely direction of the market on that particular day. You want to determine the order flow and the market structure. So how do you determine the bullish order flow or bearish order flow? When we look at the price action right over here, we can very clearly see the characteristics of the price action. During any bullish order flow, you want to look for all the down close candles supporting price and all the up close candles are being broken. You want to look for a new higher high or a new higher low being formed. So what I really mean by that is that when you look at the price, look at all the down close candles, they are supporting price. Price never break through the down close candles. So they are very they are being supported. So all the down close candles are being supported. As you can see, all the down close candles are being supported. Price never break below the down close candles. And as you can see, the up close candles are being broken. Up close candles being broken right over here. Up close candles being broken and you want to look for a new higher high and higher low this is our higher high higher low higher high and higher low new higher high and higher low new higher high so these characteristics will determine that we are in a bullish order flow and the reverse is true for bearish order flow looking at the price action right over here we can very clearly see that our up close candles are acting as resistant and our down close candle are being broken and all the up close candles are acting as resistant to price so price never broke above the up close candles and you also want to look for new lower low lower high new lower low and new lower high and new lower low new lower high and new lower low being formed in the market structure so these will determine that we are in a bearish order flow. Daily likely bias will be bearish. And the only setup we are looking for is sales. Once we determine the order flow, we want to look for our recent liquidity. So looking here, we have our recent swing high. This is our buy side liquidity has been taken. And our sell side liquidity, which is our relatively equal lows right over here, has been taken as well. So by going back to step one, we can clearly see that our bullish order flow has been starting to go shift into a bearish order flow. Get the recent price action. We've been very bullish for the past few weeks. You can very clearly see that our sell side has been taken. Once the price took out the sell side and it failed to continue going lower, it means that it wants to target the next liquidity, the next draw on liquidity, which is our buy side liquidity right over here. The price took out the buy side liquidity. We can clearly see that the price wants to continue going up because our order flow is bullish and our down close candles are being supported. That means the price has been showing clearly sign of the strength of the bullishness that it wants to continue to keep on going higher. The price came back to the bullish order block, our down close candles, the price has been supported, never break below it and it keep on going higher. But only recently and the market structure shift, we have a market structure shift right over here and not only that we took out our buy side liquidity, once we have the liquidity taken we have a market structure shift, that, that means that our order flow is starting to shift to bearish from bullish to bearish. The next draw on liquidity will be these lows, these lows. So you, are, you want to mark it up on your charts. Once you identify any liquidity that has been taken and any future liquidity that the price might draw onto, now you want to identify the recent swing highs and swing lows. So the price came all the way from here. This is our very recent swing high. This is our recent swing low. We will have a range. This is when we identify our premium or discount. In the red zones is the premium level. So we want to sell at premium. So now the price is at a discount level, which means that the price might retrace back to a premium level before going lower. We want to look for any fair value gaps or order blocks. We can identify our fair value gap right over here and the fair value gap, which is in our premium level. So the price might retrace back to our premium level before going lower to take out our recent swing lows and eventually take out our sell side liquidity resting below here, below here, and even below here. 
as you can see the price has been going up previous weeks we have a very nice trend line this shows that there are a lot of liquidity resting below these lows and the price might want to take out these uh, sell side liquidities in the next few days in the next few weeks in the next few months we also have our bearish order block right over here these up close candles overlapping with our fair value gap so why is our daily likely bias you might be still not very clear what's going on here you can clearly see that our daily likely bias will be bearish but we might have a few days of bullish days coming to retest these levels before going lower to take out our recent swing lows and our sell side liquidity resting below them just for a little bit bonus of this video once we identify the bearish daily bias we want to utilize this concept which i'm going to show you right now if we know that the daily bias is bearish and the previous day high is very unlikely to be taken out and the price will always want to seek the previous day low for example we want to look for the price action right over here as you can see once we have our bearish candle kind of form price never broke above this previous day high the price always want to seek and take out our previous day low the same for this candle as well the next candle is very unlikely to take out our previous day high right over here and it always want to seek and break the previous day low for the bearish bias any move above the opening price is a false move to take out liquidity to tap into any fair value gap before even going lower as you can see right over here we have our previous day low taken any up move any movement above the opening price is just a false move to trick trader that we are going long but actually the bias is bearish and you can apply the same for for this candle as well we have our previous day high and previous day low and any up move above the opening price is a false move and the price will always want to break below the previous day low if we are bearish and we didn't break it but we you get an idea right and the next day we break it so it doesn't really happen every single day because we will have a retracement and sometimes it will take out our previous day high right over here you can see that our previous day high has been taken before going even lower this is some sort of retracement even here as well we can see that our price took out our previous day low any up move above it it's just a false move and we continue going lower and same for here as well the price took out our previous day low and go even lower and the price will have some sort of retracement before even going lower so this will not happen every day the reverse is true for bullish buyers as you can see in this concept we want to see the price to take out previous day high and our previous day low supported so the price is very unlikely to break below previous day low and the price will always seek above previous day high as you can see right over here applying the concept we have our previous day low and previous day high any movement below the opening price we can buy it and we can target our previous day high for our profit target so as you can see the price will always want to break above the previous day high to continue going up so you can see price dip below the opening price to create a false move before going higher and break above our previous day high the next day will be true as well if we to our previous day high and previous day low and we want to see any movement above below the opening price that's why we look for our setup and the price will always want to seek and break above the previous day high so the point is once you identify the, the likely buyers of the market you want to make use of this concept to identify the previous day high and previous day low that's where the secret is that's where you look for your setup by knowing the daily buyers doesn't mean that you'll get your setup every single day that's why you need to be patient and wait for your setups to form we must agree that no one can predict the price it is impossible for anyone to know exactly where the market is going that's why stop thinking that you can always predict the price and trade every single day this way it will hurt your trading and never merit to one bias always wait for the price action to show you where you want to go and trade what you see instead of what you think is going to happen in the market just because you know the direction of the market doesn't mean that the setup will fall on that day or even on that week daily bias is just a framework and a guideline for us to wait for our setup to form on a lower time frame that is the general understanding of what a daily bias is and what you're supposed to do with it so moving on to the next day we want to identify our previous day low and previous day high and we want to wait for the price to dip below the opening price creating a false move and that's where we're going to look for our buy setups and targeting our previous day high even though it is a bearish day we can still see that the price didn't break below our previous day low and break above our previous day high of course we won't get like up close candles every single day and we will have some sort of retracement right over here 
that's when our previous day low has been broken to come back and retest the value gap right over here and our bullish order block right over here this will not happen every single day that's why you want to be patient and wait for it to happen it's very clear that the price only want to seek above previous day highs and never break below our previous day low here once you have our previous day low and previous day high any dip below the opening price we want to buy and we want to target our previous day high as you can see the next day likely buyers will be bullish it's very clear you see the price make a false move and break above our previous day high so you can use this technique use this concept to identify the next likely daily bias for your trading if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below with that being said happy holiday and always remember that you are closer than you think